Hi, welcome back. Uh, the last uh, video we went through and built a, a flowchart in Visio to describe some simple uh, decision making. So if we get, you know, a temperature in Celsius, so we get it, we receive an integer from our user, we check to see if it's above 30 and then we're going to display certain things. If it's not above 30, then we're going to check to see if it's above 20 and display. Uh, it's pretty nice, but bring a sweater for later. But if it's not above 20, we go down and we'll decide is it above 10. If it is, put on sweater and pants. If it's not, say brr, it's cold outside. Better wear a jacket. Um, so that's a simple little look at the flow chart. And then we we did the same thing with our pseudocode is we you know we really we wrote out what's the program doing? And this is a little closer to actual programming than a flow chart, because we say things like define an integer to store temperature. You wouldn't show that on a flow chart. A flow chart really denotes um, uh, the flow of events that happen, uh, whereas in pseudocode you're going to you're going to make it pretty close to the code, but you don't have to use the actual syntax of any specific language. So whether this be in Java, C, Python, Ruby, you know, my my pseudocode really doesn't change. So let's take this pseudocode now. It's pretty close to what our code will be, and let's uh, let's create a simple little program here to. Uh, to mimic that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy uh, my pseudocode. This is kind of an extreme example, okay? So I wouldn't expect you to do this in, uh, in regular programming. But the idea here is um, that inside my main method, I can take each of these ideas that I had in pseudocode and I can write regular code. So instead of writing display, I'm going to say system.out.print welcome to wacky weather please enter the current right, so <clears throat> what I'm trying to show you here is you know, our pseudocode was very easy for anyone to read. Our next line here, I mean, that's still pretty straightforward if you know Java, uh, but you have to know system.out.print, you have to have a semicolon at the end, you have to have brackets and quotes, so it's just a little bit more uh, finickety. So when you write it in pseudocode, I mean, it can never be wrong, whereas um, here we can, we can kind of get lost sometimes in the way, in the specific structure of a language. So the next thing it says to do is to define integer to store the temperature, right? So I'm just going to say int temperature. And here it says temperature is equal to the user input from the keyboard. Now, uh, in pseudocode, that's fine to say that. In Java, we're going to need to have a mechanism to get that user input. So to do that, I'm going to create a scanner that I'll call keyboard. And I'm just going to import my scanner. And then I'm going to say temperature is equal to keyboard.next. Okay. So, so far, we're really just following our pseudocode quite, uh, quite closely. Okay, so it says here if the temperature is greater than or equal to 30. So in Java, it's pretty close to exactly what that is.
Okay, so again, instead of saying words like otherwise, if temperature is greater or equal to 20, um, I'm putting that into, you know, a programming context, right? So the specific language here is else if, right? And I have to have brackets and I have to have system.out.print instead of display. But the idea of what I'm doing is exactly the same. It hasn't changed. Okay, so we're going to do another check here. So, else if So there you have it. So we've, we've, we've started with our flowchart to understand, well, what do we want our program to do? And then we wrote pseudocode. So it's nice and easy for us to, to talk about it in, in structured English. And then really what happened is here, we then took that simple pseudocode and we converted it into Java. And we could convert it into Python or we could have converted it into any other language we wanted. So let's run our, run our program here. Welcome to Wacky Weather. Please enter the temperature in C. So 32. It's beautiful. Put on a t-shirt. Let's run that again. Uh, test a couple of scenarios. 22. So it's still pretty nice, but bring a sweater for later. Comes if we say that it's a 15. Put on a sweater and pants. And then lastly, something between uh, or something less than 10. So let's say minus 5. It's cold outside, put on a jacket. So our program works correctly. And hopefully you can see the connection between the pseudocode and the actual code. Again, it's just a way to think through the logic of a program or to put it into you know, structured English versus uh, you know, putting it as something like system.out.print, which is very specific to a, to a language uh, and can be harder to read, especially if, uh, if you're newer to programming. I hope that makes it uh, easier for everyone, and uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or to uh, ask me in class.